Hello everybody, this is CG Animator, and today I'm going to show you how to make a cool video using the Array Modifier in Blender. So before I get started, I'm just going to say like I always do, please rate, subscribe, and comment, add me as a friend if you like my videos, subscribe if you like my videos, and if you just want to say something or feel like you should rate it, just comment or rate. And that's it. And let's get started. So first thing you want to do is add a modifier and Array Modifier. And what an array modifier does, it just adds pretty much copies that object that you have. I'm going to put it to about 7 for now. That's good. And we can't really change anything like manually except this. And you know, you can't animate it or anything. Like, look, see, you can just change the position of the cubes. You can't animate it unless you parent it to another object. And for that, we don't need relative or constant offset. We need object offset. That's it. But we don't have any other object to parent it to. So, first thing I like to do is split the area. Put the outliner so I can click whatever I need to. Space, add, empty. I want two empties so we can have a little more control. The first empty is empty. The second one is empty 001. Check it right there. And I want this. Empty. And now if you click empty, it means that cubes follow the empty. Pretty basic, you know, not too hard. Very easy. Now if you press the cube again, then no, wait, I'm no, sorry. Press copy to make another one. You put this one to empty dot one. Oops, sorry. I press the 002. Empty dot one. Great. Now if we press that, move it. That's great. So I'm gonna show you how to make a really quick video. Oops. Press empty. You know, first thing we want to do. Press all with shift clicking. Press I background scale, and that just inserts a keyframe. Now up, 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 up to about 40. Now press empty. Press G grab it X on the X axis and move it around there. I lock rock scale. It's the other two. Oh, it's just pressing off. I lock rock scale. Cool. Go up, up to about 80. Press empty 001. The top view so you can see it better. Press G on the Y axis. Right there. It's perfect. Press them all again. I lock rock scale. Go up to 120. Press this. Empty. And press them all. Oops, sorry. Press them all again. And here it's shift left click, not shift right click. I lock that scale. Press the empty. Wait. Go up to 160. It's empty 001. We'll rotate that anyway. I'm going to rotate it like that. Small again. I, black rod scale. Go up to 200. It's Q. We'll, uh, we'll rotate that here to go the opposite direction. I, black rod scale. Go up to 250 and press the cube and press Alt R to clear rotation, Alt G to clear location. And what that does is it just snaps it how it would be originally when you first started. You do that with the empties, it's just Alt R, Alt G, and then press them all again. I lock on scale. Trust the video. And it looks pretty cool, you know. You can do whatever you want, make it look, you know, pretty cool. And you don't need to use a cube, you can use whatever object you want. I'm gonna um, mess around with the materials and the background color. And then I'm gonna put it at the end of the video. Well, which is right now since I'm stopping. And uh, that's it, you know. If you liked it, 
comment, rate, and subscribe, add me as a friend, um, you know, post video responses, all that stuff. And thanks for watching. I right, take requests if you want them, and I'm going to do some Photoshop and HTML tutorials in the future. Okay, thanks.